Welcome back to my channel Math School. In today's video, let us solve the question number 3, part 4 and 5 from exercise 3.2, chapter 3, pair of linear equations in two variables. In my previous videos, I have solved the questions 1 and 2, examples 1 to 6 and exercise 3.1. If you have not watched these videos, do find the link in the description box below or please let us begin with the video. Now let us solve the fourth part of the question number 3. So comparing with the general form of the pair of linear equation, let us equate these two equations to 0 first first so we get 5x minus 3y sending this 11 to left hand side we get minus 11 equal to 0 and the second equation will be minus 10x plus 6y sending this minus 22 to left hand side we get plus 22 equal to 0 now let us find out coefficients a1 b1 c1 and a2 b2 c2 comparing with these general form of the linear pair of equation a1 the coefficient of x from the first equation is 5, b1 will be equal to minus 3 and the constant c1 is minus 11. Similarly, a2, the coefficient of x from the second equation is minus 10, b2 coefficient of y is 6 and constant c2 is 22. Now let us find out the values of a1 by a2. So here a1 is 5 and a2 is minus 10. So cancelling 1, 1 times 2 times we get minus 1 by 2. Similarly what is b1 by b2? b1 is minus 3 and b2 is 6. So cancelling 3 1 times 3 2 times we get minus 1 by 2. And what is c1 by c2? It is minus 11 by 22. So again 11 1 times 11 2 times. So we get minus 1 by 2. So if you observe all the three ratios a1 by a2, b1 by b2 and c1 by c2 are minus 1 by 2 which are equal. So when all the three ratios are equal the lines will be coincident having infinite number of solution and therefore the pair of linear equations will be consistent right so write down therefore a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 and that is equal to c1 by c2 therefore the lines are coincident and therefore we can say that the pair of linear equations are consistent now similarly let us solve the fifth part of the question so in the part 5 these are the given equation let us equate them to 0 to compare with the linear pair of equations. So let us equate them to 0 as general form of linear pair of equations are equated to 0. So the first equation is 4 by 3x plus 2y. Sending this plus 8 to left hand side we get minus 8 equal to 0. And second equation is 2x plus 3y. Sending this 12 to left hand side we get minus 12 equal to 0. Now comparing with the general form of linear pair of equations let us write down the coefficients a1, b1, c1 and a2, b2, c2. So a1 coefficient of x from the first equation is 4 by 3. Similarly b1 is 2 and c1 is equal to minus 8. Now writing the coefficients from the second equation that is the coefficient of x a2 is equal to 2, b2 is equal to plus 3 and c2 is equal to minus 12. Right? So write down ratios now a1 by a2. So a1 by a2 is 4 by 3 divided by 2. So this denominator 2 is divided by 1. So now let us reciprocate this denominator to solve this. So 4 by 3 into 1 by 2. Okay, so to convert this division into multiplication, we will reciprocate the denominator value, right? So now cancelling 2 1 times 2 2 times, we get 2 into 1 is 2 divided by 3 into 1 is 3. So a1 by a2 value is 2 by 3. Similarly, let us find out the b1 by b2 value. b1 is 2 and b2 is 3, so it is 2 by 3. Similarly, what is c1 by c2 value? It is minus 8 by minus 12. This minus and minus will become plus 2 4 za, 2 6 za, 2 2 za, 2 3 za, right? So c1 by c2 is again 2 by 3. Here you observe all the three ratios a1 by a2, b1 by b2 and c1 by c2 are 2 by 3 which are equal to each other, right? So when all the three ratios are equal, the lines will be coincident 
having infinite number of solutions and the pair of linear equations will be consistent right so write down therefore here a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 equal to c1 by c2 therefore the lines will be coincident and hence we can write the given pair of linear equations are consistent right so this is how we solve question number three if you have any further doubts do comment me below in the comment section in my next video i'll be solving question number four from exercise 3.2 chapter three pair of linear equations in two variables so till then do like my video subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell button below to get the latest updates of my videos as i'll be completing the whole syllabus for class 10th slc and sort math and also do watch the related videos of chapter 3 pair of linear equations shown on the screen thank you